This is a Notre Dame marble run, and it's big enough to fill an entire ping pong table. I spent four months building it out of Gravitrax pieces, adding architectural details, lights, and even some hidden marble mechanisms in the attic. Watch to the end to see this entire marble run synced to music, and I'm going to show you the difference between this and this half-sized Lego model, this quarter-sized foam puzzle, all the way down to this three-inch printed cathedral. Let's add it to a marble run with other Paris landmarks like the Arc de Triomphe, the Louvre, and the Eiffel Tower. The marble walls under the cathedral. Under the real cathedral in Paris, they recently found two sarcophagi belonging to an aristocrat and a priest. It's weird to think I was walking over their bones when I visited Notre Dame years ago. Later in this video, we have Notre Dame models that are 8, 16, and 32 times bigger. The challenge is to see which ones we can turn into marble runs. And I have a challenge for you. Try to find the masked marble hero, bandito, and quasimodo hidden somewhere in this video. But first, let's double in size to this cute fold-out card model straight from France. It even comes with an envelope for mailing. The instructions are in French. It says this is important, but I can't read it. Oh well. The spire is really hard to fold. Overall, this card model was super fun to build, but I have no clue how we're going to turn this into a marble run. Maybe like this. Let's open the doors. That's better. Let's double in size again with this foam board model. Ooh, the kit includes a book of Paris sights and food. My favorite food experience in Paris was a perfect cup of Café au lait. What's your favorite spot in Paris? Let everyone know in the comments. This kit is more involved. These window decals don't stick by themselves, but the included double-sided tape saves the day. Just in case you didn't know, this is Notre Dame de Paris. Don't forget the trees in Paris. Let's make this a marble run by rolling marbles in the rose window. Do not do this at the real cathedral. They will hate you. The marbles are not coming out. That makes this a marble bank. Maybe we can cut a hole so marbles roll out. That did it. This is our best Notre Dame marble run so far. Slightly larger is this 3D plastic puzzle from Ravensburger. It's been discontinued, but I found one on eBay. It's like their 3D globe puzzles, only in a cathedral shape. But Ravensburger makes more than puzzles. Ravensburger has sponsored this video to show you what's possible with their Gravitrax Marble Run system, so we're building this enormous replica of Notre Dame completely out of Gravitrax. Well, except for these bells. I wonder if we can get marbles to ring the bells. And for fun, we'll add some custom 3D printed pieces. But even though I own enough Gravitrax to build this room-sized marble computer and this 21-minute marble run, I need more pieces to build something this massive. So I've asked Ravensburger to send more Gravitrax, especially these Pro Pillars, which are seven times taller than a regular height tile. Perfect for the monumental challenge of building a six and a half foot tall cathedral that is also a marble run. While we wait for the pieces to arrive, let's double in size again to this foam puzzle, which is a little larger than the Z scale used in model railroading. This model has over 950 pieces, so it will take a while to assemble. It seems a bit flimsy in places. The finished cathedral dominates a coffee table. Now let's get crazy with the marbles. This model looks like it's surrounded by scaffolding, just like the real cathedral. When marbles roll through Gravitrax power triggers, they send wireless signals that launch even more marbles. And we've added fun 3D printed pieces. If you thought the foam puzzle was crazy, take a look at this. Doubling in size again, this is a Lego mock of Notre Dame that is almost HO scale. This beautiful design by Stefano Mappelli of Staybrick.com has so much detail. I love the colorful windows. 
This model has over 63,000 pieces and cost $15,000 using genuine Lego bricks. Yeah, that's not in our budget, so unfortunately we won't be turning this into a marble run. It's hard to imagine a larger replica of Notre Dame, but we're gonna double in size one last time. Let's create an O-scale Gravitrax marble run that is nine feet long. This build will be epic. First, we'll spend some time prototyping to learn how to build the cathedral's architectural details with Gravitrax pieces. Standard Gravitrax building techniques won't work, so we'll have to improvise. Some pieces surprisingly fit together in unintended ways. Other times, I need the help of my favorite building tool, mounting putty. The Gravitrax pieces have finally arrived. I'll save you three days of your life watching us unbox and sort everything and assemble 1,500 pillars. After weeks of preparation and prototyping, we're ready to build. The first challenge to tackle is the floor plan. I want pillar locations to accurately model the real cathedral, but the Gravitrax system uses a hexagonal grid, so pillars can't be placed in a perfect square. A rectangle will have to do. And there's a real problem with the apps. Its curved walls won't fit the base plate hole pattern. We'll build this section free floating on top of the base plates with a framework of pieces connected like spokes on a wheel, held together at the perimeter with a chain of pillars and walls. Even though I often build beyond the usual with Gravitrax, this is the first time I'm adapting it to architectural features like spires, windows, archways, statues, railings, and over 200 gargoyles. And don't forget the three rose windows. But there's another problem. My research uncovered that Notre Dame has a number of quirky details like extra tall buttresses, uneven railing, and this triangle shape over one entrance. All these unique details take extra time to build. After four months of work, we're almost done. These base plates will make the roof. Time to install the spire. Let's top it off with Notre Dame's signature rooster. Let's go with the new rooster, symbol of the cathedral rising again from the fire. That's the last flying buttress. They almost look like marbles might roll down. I wonder what the hidden mechanisms in the attic will do. Let's start the marble run to find out.